This record was taken just two days ago in the Highland Crags. It seems the goblins there have progressed from being a minor nuisance to somehow being able to take down a highly fortified outpost. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. And Doctor, thank you for hosting this gathering. How did these goblins progress in such a short time from bows and arrows to tanks and guns? Where are they based? And how can we remove the threat they pose? We must immediately mount an expedition to discover whatever we can. Do we have any volunteers? The crags, huh? That's deep in goblin country. If I can get you all in, I'm less sure I can get you all out again. Victor. Victor Industries welcomes the opportunity to field test the latest model of our security robots. While human strength is, of course, desirable, the expedition will need something far more powerful to take on those goblin weapons. The high-tech armaments of these robots should prove invaluable in accomplishing the mission. Any other volunteers? Well then, it seems Ryder and Victor will be our expeditionary force. <clears throat> yes, Doctor? Before any final decision is made, I would like to show you all a little something I've been working on. Come! Uncle! Hey, how you been? Good. The doctor keeps me busy, though. Huh? I gotta go set up. I'll see you later. Okay. <sighs> Begin. Just go slow, little buddy. You'll be fine. What you see before you is my ultimate creation. Knack. and make our way of life possible. Excavate the relics from deep underground, then use them to power our cars, our planes, our generators. The discovery of this source of perpetual energy has changed our lives completely.
I have spent decades learning the secrets of the relics and how to bring them to consciousness. The result is Knack, a living, thinking, breathing creature. As you can see, Knack is capable of explosive growth. Most impressive, Doctor. You call it Knack, is that right? Actually, I call myself Knack. Impressive? <laughs> he seems a little delicate to me. When we go after the goblins, we'll face challenges far deadlier than those slow-moving buckets of bolts. What exactly are you getting at, Victor? Well, I brought a few of my security robots with me. If Knack can get by those, then I'll grant he has a place in the expedition. Hmm, can do. Let's take this to the garden. There's a bit more room. So, you think Nat can do it? We'll see now, won't we? Sorry. So, Victor, you still think I'm too delicate? <laughs> it seems the doctor will be joining us after all. But you want him to come, and you want him to bring Knack. <laughs> what a wonderful demonstration, Doctor. Yes, Knack must join us in our expedition.
I wonder what Charlotte would have thought of Knack if she were still around. Come on, Doc. Let's go. Hurry up, lad. We don't have all day. Hey, Doc. Thanks for looking after my nephew. He's growing up so fast. Frankly, Ryder, it was easier when he was younger. Now he wants to know how and why and debate everything. It's really quite trying at times. <laughs> it sounds like you need a break. Why don't you let me take him for a few days? Oh, he's all yours. <laughs> Lucas! It's just you and me again. <laughs> now, the tracks from those goblin tanks should still be visible. Keep a sharp lookout! Well, Neck, let the adventure begin! I can't wait. Well, my dear, wish us luck. the old crag mine. It's huge in there. The tunnels go on for miles. No telling what the goblins are up to. Let's land and take a closer look on foot. They've barricaded the entrance quite thoroughly. We'll need to find another way in. Splitting up should make that faster. Perhaps north, east, and west through the forest. We'll take the forest. Come on, Neck. Be on guard, Neck. These woods are full of dangerous creatures. There's an old structure with some relics in it. Traps mean that there are goblins around. Watch your step.
Doctor, I found another entrance to the mine. Good job, Nag. Hold on, I'm almost there. No. <clears throat> they dug these tunnels a hundred years ago, looking for relics. They found a lot of them back in the day, but this mine is nearly completely tapped out now. For some reason, relics are always found in buildings like this. But is it even a building? There's no door. No one human ever lived there. It's the goblin tanks. We got ahead of them somehow. The road's too old to take much more of that pounding. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, a control room. There's no relics left in that generator, though. Just a sec, Doc. I'll get the lights on for you. Let's go. This is more like it. <laughs> Do you know that I found you in a cave just like this? You see that pedestal? You find one of these caves. Like as not, there's a pedestal in it with nothing on top. <laughs> but once, oh, this was about 20 years ago now, I found a cave that was different. It is said that these places were once alive. That the relics flocked like birds within them. But no one in generations had ever seen it so. Until then, on the pedestal was a glowing orb. And around it spun a constellation of gold and red and blue. I held out my hand. Now, I don't know why. And the orb came to me. It took many years to unlock the secret of the orb and strengthen its power a hundredfold. But at last, I solved the puzzle. <laughs> and the result was you. Hey, let's go take a closer look, huh? Stay back. You okay, Doc? Doc, 
Never better. Careful, Mac. That type of rock is very slippery.
It's blocked. We'll have to go back the way we came. 